Well, hello loves, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today, I will be doing a little cleaning and decorating here in my family room. If you are interested in seeing how I clean and decorate this space, just keep on watching. I am a little bit behind in doing this space. I have put it off until I can't put it off anymore. I can't deal with it anymore. I have a few things sitting out and I'm like, okay, let's get this space together. Now, with that being said, a company reached out to me to take a look at their vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna reach down below here and it is by be life and they wanted me to test out their cordless vac um, so I'm gonna test it out as I clean today and while I test this vacuum cleaner out I'll tell you all the specs and the information about it so we're gonna just jump right to it now this cordless vacuum cleaner by Be Life is has a LED touch screen design. It also has a 12 to 25 kPa powerful suction. Its running time is between 20 and 50 minutes. It has a 380 watt powerful brushless motor. It also has a detachable battery and a six stage high efficiency filter. Let's unbox this vacuum cleaner. You have your manual It comes with a light alloy extension rod. Your power adapter charger. Your two in one dusting tool. You have an additional crevice tool. the main body of, of the vacuum. The motorized floor brush. A cleaning brush. And then you have the screws and the wall bracket to store your vacuum. And this is the battery pack. This vacuum is so, so easy to assemble. Right now, I am going to insert the battery pack into the main body of this vacuum cleaner. I will insert the adapter so uh, this vacuum can charge. Mm -hmm. 
This vacuum also has a digital display panel, it, which indicates the level of the battery, the suction blockage indicator, the helper filter, and more. So before I vacuum, I'm gonna wipe down my furniture. I did this wall art already, but I need to do the tops of my credenza or credenzas because I do have two of these. So I will be ready to decorate them once I vacuum. And they're not that bad, but they do need to be cleaned with this glass cleaner by Sprayway. And I will have this cleaner listed in my description box below. If you are interested, it's a good, good spray, a uh, glass cleaner. It foams and everything. So many of you ask, how do I keep my grandson from fingerprints off of my credentials and all of my mirrored furniture? Uh, the only problem I have is my coffee table. He really don't bother these credentials that much. It's the coffee table. <laughs> so let's get everything else wiped down. I'm doing both credenzas. This sprayway cleaner does an amazing job on my mirrored furniture. I'm also going to do a wipe down of my television and the fireplace mantle and the fireplace itself if you've missed it hubby and I actually DIY this fireplace we built this fireplace ourselves we are so proud of our work This is my coffee table. This is the one that I do pretty much clean almost every day. And that's why I love mirrored furniture. I would rather have mirrored furniture instead of wood furniture in my family room. So let me pan around and let you see. Yes, I have some items sitting over there in that chair that I plan on working with. You may see some items through my credenza over there. I hide my grandson's toys behind this sofa here. But this is what I am going to do today. My grandson also has some toys here Keeps his collection here on the sofa. Now off camera, I did hang these window panels that I purchased from Amazon. I will have them linked in my description box down below if you are interested. And after I vacuum, I'll share some of these goodies with you. A few pieces are new, and but mostly, things I already had. Let me test out this vac. So right now I'm going to test this vacuum. It's already charged. It only takes four and a half hours to completely charge, but I did let it charge an entire day. Now to turn this on and off, you use the trigger. And it has a default setting.
Now this vacuum cleaner can be used on any hard floor or short pile carpet. Now what I did learn by using this vacuum cleaner and reading the manual, the underside of this motorized brush comes with a strip of dust blocking felt for effective dust pickup. It mentioned do not move the motorized brush backwards towards the dirt you want to pick up. You need to move it forward in a forward direction to pick up the dirt and move it in a track type movement. The vacuum cleaner will swivel. The brush motor is designed with a self protection function and will cut off to prevent the motor from getting damaged if the brush is not able to turn freely. Right now I'm going to detach the vac and work it as a handheld to vacuum out my sofa here to test it out. And it simply detaches like so. And you can attach locks in or you could do this attachment. I think I'm going to work with this one. But you have two attachments that you can use. This one does have the brush. You can move that forward and you can have the brush or move it back and you can just use it. guys this is how much dust and debris this vacuum cleaner this cordless vacuum cleaner by be life picked up in my family room oh <laughs> my goodness it's a lot it's a lot now after each use it's a good idea to empty it out so you'll be ready for your next use. So guys, this cordless vac by Be Life did a fabulous job here in my family room. I absolutely love it. And I'm looking forward to going all over my home with it, especially on my stairs. I can even take it in the car like so so many different places in my kitchen and my drawers possibilities are endless if you are looking for a cordless vac check out this vacuum cleaner by be life i will have a link and a discount code in my description box down below for all of my blessed family members thank you be life for the opportunity to take a look at your vac. I love it. I really do love it. Now we're going to get on with a little decorating of my family room. Now it's time for a small haul. I picked up a few things for my family room. I want to share them with you real quick. Some of these things I may use, some I may not. <laughs> we'll see. Went to Marshall's and I picked up these beautiful flowers. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I purchased 
one set of this last year or the year before and I cannot find them. I actually have a set like this and a wreath and I cannot find them. I've been tearing up my house looking for this wreath and this one set. But I ended up going to Marshall's and picking up four of these. I'm already using one, um, so I'm gonna place the other three in place. Here's the other one, so three, and another one is already in use. All right. And then while I was picking up those, I saw these. <laughs> They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know if these are teal or uh, teal turquoise-ish, <laughs> um, or like a green, but they are so, so beautiful to me. So I had to pick them up and I'm actually in search of two more. So I'm hoping I run across them. These flowers come in a set of three at Marshall's for $12.99 each. All right, I had to have them, had to have them. Now my other bag in my bag from Marshall's. I picked up some baking and snack cups for Easter. These are cute. Um, these were actually $6.99 each and you get 70 of them. So I plan on baking some treats for my grandson. Now this is for Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, some kitchen towels, set of two that says best mom ever. And actually, um, I'm gonna keep one and give my mother in love one, because I only saw one set. And these were by Cynthia Rowley, and these were $6.99 for a set of two. I think this is so, so pretty. And lastly, from Marshalls, and I picked up two and wish I would have picked up all three, but I didn't. It's this beautiful pink cylinder. These were actually clearanced. Not much of a clearance. They were regularly $5.99, and I got it for $4.50, and I picked up two. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, this item here I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm surprised I picked it up, but it did stand out to me. Look at this beaded decor. Now I'm not crazy about the tassel and I may redo it over and put a prettier tassel on it, but the beading is so, so heavy. I'm loving the clear beading. It is just beautiful to me. This was marked $17.99 with 50% off tableware. Absolutely gorgeous. Other than that tassel, I would love a prettier tassel on it. So this may get a redo, <laughs> but I'll deal with it for now like this. From Ross, I picked up some tie backs. I picked up two packs of them. When I see these, I really look at them and uh, you can't beat the price. Um, I think they were $6.99 each. And look at the bling. How beautiful is that? And I stumbled across two. <laughs> very, very pretty. Now the last thing of the last item I picked up is from Ross and I do have one and I'm looking for another one. <laughs> is this cute bunny. Um, I have one that I've had for a couple of years that has the boy and the girl. This one is the boy. So I'm hoping that they have a girl bunny out here like this. I thought this was just super, super cute. And I think he was $11.99. So I'm in search for the girl bunny like this. Let me grab the one I already had. See, this is the one I already had. So 
I'm hoping to come across her by herself. Just like him. <laughs> so now let's do a little decorating and I'll show you around my family room. Stay tuned. So now that I have put some things in place and decorated it, let me show you around my family room. You guys know I am a pillow lover and I love placing pillows out. It just livens up your space. Now I got the question in one of my comments, how do you sit on your sofa with all of those pillows? Pillows can be removed. Pillows can be used to, to prop up behind your back. I have no issue with that. Now moving over here, this is a wall between my kitchen nook and my family room that I absolutely love. And as you can see, I use those pink cylinders that I picked up from Marshalls. That orchid uh, was ivory and I purchased the pink ones from Ross. The wall art is from Z Gallery. These are the window panels that I ordered from Amazon in a 96 inch. And I love that they puddled the floor just a bit. Now this is the chair that I am looking for the girl pillow to be in. And I'm praying I come across her and I just draped a blanket on this ottoman. Now moving to the credenza on the left, this wall art I picked up from, I think, Home Goods. This vase is a Z Gallery vase that I found thrifting for $10. And you can see those florals, they make a huge statement. Candle, holders, marshals, I had already that beautiful floral frame from Burlington's. The credenza is one of two from Amazon and I will have it linked in my description box down below. Now my fireplace wall, I kind of kept it simple. This is simple and I'm learning to keep things simple now. I just added some florals to that greenery. The florals itself, they're actually uh, tiered wreaths. <laughs> that I just inserted and intertwined in that greenery. And I added two candle holders and some eggs. Very simple. Those eggs do light up. That I purchased and had for a couple of years now from Walmart. Moving to the second credenza, which is on the right pretty much have it dressed somewhat the same using a vase with those florals, some candle holders, and a small bowl. Here is the other sofa mimicking the same thing. The only difference is the bunny pillow has the two bunnies on it, the girl and the boy. Super, super cute. They are so, so adorable with those glasses. <laughs> adorable. Now look at my coffee table. The coffee table itself, a friend of mine, a YouTube sister, uh, gave me the scoop on this coffee table. I found it thrifting 
for a hundred dollars and my sister glamorous penny pincher has this exact same table and i love ginger jars so i put those florals in the ginger jar those decorative boxes came from ross the bunny white bunny came from ross the bunny bowls came from ross and i plan on putting some candy in it the closer we get to easter and i just placed uh, some coasters some lean coasters in a tray on this coffee table but this is my family room for spring 2022 i'm loving how i decorated it with the pink and blue i hope this is much inspiration for you for spring just to add touches of spring in your home don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all of my social media sites, and shop my Amazon store. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there, and I will talk to you real, real soon.